everyone welcome back to the channel welcome to another daily energy draw welcome to romance angels friday where we use the romance angels deck because who doesn't like to start the weekend with a little bit of romance amazing amazing energies and messages this week if you missed any of the dailies do make sure that you go back and check them out because this energy is just stunning beautiful um amazing just all inspiring so to make sure that you check it out all right so let's see what we have for today january 21st 2022 remember all of the timestamps are just for organizational purposes all my readings are timeless take what resonates for you when they call to you and we have a full playlist of these dailies i think over like 400 now on the playlist so do make sure that you go in and um Give the titles a look and see what might resonate for you. All right, Spirit, what do you have to say to us today? What flipped over here? We have soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. Um, and stay optimistic about your love life on the bottom of the deck, which I feel like that was last week's daily energy draw, or last week's Romance Angels Friday. So we have the card soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. And this is the energy of harmony. At the beginning of the week, we were talking about union, especially when it comes to sacred partners. And I feel we were talking a lot about the harmony that comes after a lot of the healing that's done on the journey. You come together, you're healing, you're growing, you're expanding together, but that can trigger a lot of the, the soul gunk, the sludge, the subconscious stuff, the shadows, traumas, pains, conditioning patterns, all that stuff. It can trigger all of that, does trigger all of that. And so what happens is you come together and your energies are merging, but as your energies are merging, it's stirring up all this stuff that is not aligned to true love, divine love, unconditional love. It's all the, it's bringing up all the separation consciousness that is still there within your energy field. And so what's happening is you're clearing all of that and coming back into harmony, recognizing that you've always been in union, that separation was just a program that you were running. Um, so, and that that's happened through lifetimes. It's from ancestors, it's from your lineage, it's from just the, the collective energy. Um, that's what we're clearing on the ascension journey as a whole. We're clearing for the collective, the global, the planet is clearing separation energy. That's what we're doing. That's what ascension is all about. And so what's happening here is as you're clearing separation energy, you're recognizing the harmony within, the peace within. That's what this feels like. This soulmate energy here, this card, and, and sorry, it's a little bit worse for the wear. This is a very well-loved deck. Um, this feels like more harmony is coming into your connection. And they're actually showing me the Six of Swords. Um, and that is moving on to calmer waters after uh, the Five of Swords, which is battle, which is struggle. Um, and actually, it's interesting because the Five of Swords for me is, especially internal, a battle between the mind and the heart, a battle between the ego and the soul. And so after that energy, you're moving into calmer waters, and that's exactly what the Ascension journey has been all about. It has been clearing all that old separation energy, all the battle between the ego and the soul so that the soul rises, so that the soul speaks louder than the program of the ego, and that's where you find your peace. That's where you find your harmony. That's where you find your joy. That's where you find the love. And so this feels like, especially with a partner, you're coming into an age and that they're very specific about that. They're saying an age of harmony. This is not just a cycle. This is not just a phase. This is an age of harmony with your sacred partner, with soul family, um, even healing family dynamics, friends, uh, co-workers, any relationship that might have been troubled, there's a lot of healing that is taking place. So take it as it resonates for you, but this is a lot of harmony and peace that is coming in to these connections now. Um, they're also giving me this affirmation that yes, you can trust this. Yes, you can have faith in this. Trust your own inner knowing. Come back to the heart space. Yes, you can trust this. And, and I'm hearing trust at this time because of the healing that has taken place from both parties. Yes, you can have faith in this. Yes, you can trust the harmony and the peace of this, the love of this. Beautiful, beautiful energy, short and sweet today. All right, you guys, that's going to be it for this week. We will see you next week. I'm sending you so much love, so much light, and have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Bye.